Okay, the two quarks. It's the entire quark, the only time. Good afternoon, uh, guests, students, uh, other uh, candidates. Um, my name is Lionel Weaselhead. I'm 40 years old. I've been married for 21 years. Um, my beautiful wife, wife, Roxanne. We have five beautiful daughters, ranging from 20 down to six years old. Ever since, uh, even from high school, which was like 20 years ago, I've completely supported and volunteered and helped our young children, children in school, and even our college students. Um, I, I will go, I'm just uh, uh, saying that first of all, just to let you know where I'm coming from. Also, my parents are uh, Gloria Weaselhead and Norbert Fox. Grandparents, Charlie and Irene Weaselhead and George and Margaret Fox. My in-laws are Andrew and Margaret Weaselfat. I truly believe that our culture, traditions, and our language are the basis of who we are. Um, not just because recently I, I've become part of our, our, one of our sacred societies, but all my life I have lived that way. And only the um, past four years it has become intense learning, and all of us that have been in, in our sacred societies know how, um, how much of a struggle it is. But I continue to live my life with uh, integrity and respect. And that's how I live my life when I wake up in the morning till I go to sleep at night. Everything I do is, is based on what I believe and what uh, is is in the best interest for not only me, my family, but our community. A little bit about my education background. Uh, I have a diploma from Mount Royal University in Business Administration, and I took those courses here, right here at Red Crow. Uh, I also attended, I, I took classes with our Kai Studies in Arts and Sciences, also here at Red Crow. Two years in management at the University of Lethbridge and two years of Native American studies at the University of Lethbridge. If they also had those classes here, I'd probably come here as well. You know, there was a, there was a study while I was here. I also sat on the board of Red Crow Community College for four years. That was like uh, eight years ago. Two years, all four years, I was uh, elected as a student representative. And, you know, part of my job was to sit on the board. I got to learn the ins and outs of, of decision making. And along the ways, you know, um, you know, not daily, but a lot of the times the students would phone me and ask me about difficulties. And I too was going through those same struggles as the rest of us people with some of these things that I have learned. Bonner Treaty right to Treaty Inherent Right to Education. The um, right from the first uh, 1763, um, the first uh, treaty that was made with us to our um, Treaty of 1877. Right through the 1982 Constitution, uh, it's all written in there that they know we are the true people of this land. And they give us that right, right in there. So it's stated in there that we, we are the true people of this land. And what those treaties helped was that we would be taken care of. But what was really happening is they're just giving us the same amount that they give to the rest of everybody. So there hasn't been one day of implementation from those treaties that we have sought. So we, we need to start making our federal government more 
yeah, at least raise that question. When are you going to start implementing the trees that we truly deserve? Um, just one thing, you know, that will resonate with you students. I was a part of, uh, part of a lot of good initiatives while I was on board. This wasn't myself, but the people that I was, I was with, you know, we started stuff, you know, new programming here, right at the college, the university, the Nitsa the B teacher, right, the um, transition, even that new off-campus, we initiated that stuff. One thing I'm truly proud of, and it may not make a big difference, or it does with us students, is while I was on there, you remember some of you back then, the uh, living allowance was 675. Uh, I'm happy that I was able to help lobby our, our board to bring it up to 850, and that's where it still stays today. So I think our students, and, and that was like six years ago, we need to start looking at that to help out our students more. And, and I believe, you know, if I'm sitting up at the negotiations, can try and do that, I'll do my best to, to help with our students, everyone else was. So from that point of view, you know, I do have a lot of community input that I have given to straight to the decision makers of uh, post-secondary. And I was, I was happy to do so. And, wasn't all about the positive, of course the negative. And I truly believe as leaders, it is not our job to filter just the positive in positive uh, um, questions or, or suggestions that come in. All should be heard. And that's what I was doing when I was on the board. It just wasn't the positive stuff because I wanted to see positive change for our students. I know how, how difficult it was because I just finished a few years ago from the university and, you know, we have the same struggles here and at, with our students off reserve, you know, the, the itchy band, the craft dinner, the bologna sandwiches, those, you know, sometimes I miss that, but, you know, uh, um, just also a little currently, I am, uh, the St. Paul's Treatment Center Board Chair. Uh, a year ago, our, our, our leader, uh, Oliver, uh, him passed away, so our board looked to, to me to try and fill his shoes. And healing, you know, that was a good question somebody asked. It, it's, it's a lifelong journey, you know. When, when you're... Um, go to a treatment center or go to counseling or whatnot. They give you suggestions and whatnot, but you need support constantly. While at uh, St. Paul's, there was a few challenges these past few years, but along with me, myself, my, and my board members, we have been able to turn that around. We, we got qualified, top-notch qualified people in there with addictions, Degree, the pl uh, degrees, the training that is necessary. Right now, if you guys seen posters, we're hiring for a new director. We're trying to do everything which will help our people for the best. We're um, going out to how it, going out in the community as to how it was done before. Each uh, evening, they're just slowly starting. I believe they started Moses Lake. Our counselors are going out there, going out to the community to help them in ways of healing and recovery. And that's that's one thing that you know we all we strived on for our board is it, it, is some people just don't won't come for your help. So we got to go out there and make it available. So those are some of the uh, initiatives through healing that St. Paul's is, is engaging in right now. I, I'm also the vice chair for our kind of Board of Education uh, for the past two years. It is, is it, it's a constant struggle to find ways to teach our, our kids. But let me tell you this, that 
in most areas, entities, departments, whatnot, we, from our tribe, are, are, are the leaders in this throughout the nation. That doesn't mean it's good enough, but it means we must continue to strive to, to better our education, our addictions, treatments, you know, social services, our issues. But recently went to Ottawa last month, our education board sent me there for the um, Assembly of First Nations gathering of chiefs on education. And I was able to get up there and speak to, and we were on live feed to, to everybody to hear the positive stuff from our tribe that we give. Our teachers, about 98% are from our, our reserve. And that's one thing I, I truly believe in is supporting our community 100%. Um, our, our ways of teaching are changing. We need to, recently we, we as at the KBE, we got into what is called professional learning communities. This is, we have a lot of this throughout our programming, but this is kind of like a, a push towards how to see results right away. A lot of it is on communication, accountability, no closing the door as teachers, you know, so nobody knows what, what you're doing with our kids back there. It's opened up. Teachers collaborate with each other. It's not just about teaching. It's about our kids learning. There's a difference between teaching. A teacher can go through the whole lesson plan, maybe one kid learn. But now what it is is we make our kids try and learn right from the get-go. It's not just somebody going through a plan and hopefully you learn something. No, we're actually doing something to get our kids to learn. I worked as an athletic director for Kanye High School, right out of uh, high school, one year college. And I put in 12 hours of work and I got paid for eight. I never complained. I worked for nine years and because I truly believe what I was doing made a difference for our kids. You know, they, they need somebody to look up to, to help, or just to listen. Because a lot of our kids are lost. That's why you see them in gangs and doing bad stuff. Because there's not things for them to do. You know, we need to start opening up our... I'm glad this facility is starting this multi-purpose. Because maybe there's be programming every night to get our kids to be doing something. That's what helped me as a youngster to stay away from drugs and alcohol was sports. I, I did everything, any sport under the sun because I liked doing that. Get home, go to sleep. I was, I was too tired to go out and do other mischievous stuff. You know, these are some of the things we add. As what I'm going to try and do if I'm elected is, is to instill this. I'm working at the decision-making board process. My goal is to move up.